everybody. Marty Sleevey here alongside Daniel Krupa. We're here at Gamescom. We're live on our stage. Uh, Dan, one of the big games of the show, Bloodborne. Very big yeah. You so got I went, to see it. Yeah, I saw a lot of it. I think yeah. it's played yet. Okay. I should say that. Colin's played it. I haven't yet. Yeah. So I saw an hour-long presentation all about the game's combat system. That's a long presentation. It was. I enjoyed every yeah. minute of it. Um, so they took apart the game and told us a lot about what they're calling perilous combat. Okay. And the big kind of point they made was they're trying to make Bloodborne I don't want to say accessible because that's what happened with Dark Souls 2 and everyone was like oh, they're making it easier don't do that. it's not yeah. that at all like you will die a lot sure. Bloodborne <laughs> is hard yeah. but what it's got is it's going to remove the punishing aspect of Dark Souls that's okay. like, kind of what they're pitching yeah. and the way they're going to do this is something they call the regain health system Okay. so when you take damage from an opponent you've got a small window where you can regain some of your health by attacking back interesting yeah Oh, that? okay. So it's like they're chipping away a little bit at you, but if you're able to sort of yeah, get if you can on them, seize then... the moment as well, if you're brave, like yeah. if you risk it, you might get some health back. I like that a lot. That's yeah, it's interesting. a weird thing. And Miyazaki, Hayao Miyazaki, wasn't at Gamescom, but he kind of had a quote that they relayed at the presentation, yeah. which has the kind of weird, bleak poetry that he's known for. <laughs> and he said that he doesn't even see the health gauge as health at all. He sees yeah. it as kind of your spirit of will, your power of will. It's yep. every time that you look like you're you're going to die. If you kind of muster the energy to like fight back, yeah. you're reclaiming your hope from the pit of despair. I like that a lot. Yeah. I feel like there could be, if that's actually how they're viewing the game, there could be some really interesting opportunities for if you sort of do risky moves yeah. and risky maneuvers that you could gain health by sort of Kind of yeah, and, and death they say, they say it's a very conscious side. choice. Also, like life gems in Dark Souls 2, it's kind of varying on regaining health. Yeah, yeah. And in this, they'll say sometimes you'll go for the extra attack to win back health, and sometimes you'll run away to use a blood vial, which is what's replacing Estus. Okay, so there is still there's still items. It's not just there's still lots of items. Health. So I can tell you something else. Like they unveiled the UI, okay. so you still have a health gauge. Yeah. Which means Zaki doesn't think it's a health gauge. Um, there's, Spirit gauge. There's stam stamina bar, okay. green stamina bar, just like Soul Series. Yeah, yeah. Um, health is no longer longer assigned um, as an item. It's like a permanent button. It's always triangle now. Okay. And then what? why they've done that is they want you to experiment with items more. Yeah. So you always have two equipped weapon, um, items. So like the instance they showed, you could throw oil on an opponent. Okay. And then you could throw a bomb or a flambeau and then yeah. light them up as a buff. That's that's cool because I know a lot of players would get never all the way them. through Dark Souls and just have hundreds of ne every items. And it's just hundreds of arrows. Yeah. Never use them. Yeah. That's really interesting. Okay, yeah. I like that a lot. So okay. the other big thing about the combat is there's no shield. There's no shield. Yeah, which is terrifying to me. Yeah, so the, uh, the, uh, they said it's not an exaggerated hack and slash game. Yeah. It's not going to be this kind of full-on fast combat game. Yeah. It's still the considered gameplay that you would expect from a Soul series. Yeah. So they showed us some stuff behind closed doors that's not on the show floor. And you kind of went into a village that's surrounded by tombstones. And you get there, and there's these maniacal kind of rural peasant skeleton women yeah. who are really tall and, like, cackling. And you've got to, like, in Souls fashion, you've got to work out the weaknesses. Sure. Um, but that might not be like Dark Souls where you've got shield up and you're just circling them. You've got to maybe go in a bit more ballsy. Yeah. And they're weakness because they're all women. Apparently they've got bad hips, so if you roll into them, you can stagger them. <laughs> so yeah, beating like up all people. Yeah, and you learn a lot from those games. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super stoked. Both of us are going to try to play it tomorrow on the show floor. Yeah. We'll have more impressions, obviously. Uh, and also from the Sony conference, uh, they showed all those trailers and they said all of these games are coming in the next six months. So evidently that means we'll be seeing Bloodborne before yeah, February. That's the main one I'm interested in. Yeah, which is crazy. We're going to have a lot more in Bloodborne, all of Sony's lineup, and the rest of the huge games here at Gamescom. So you're already in the right place, IGN.